Hi, this is Ron Nutter with another video in the series for my The Pocket Troubleshooter book. This time we're going to talk about something that you might not think of because a lot of computers come with one, but now a growing number are not coming with one, and that's a portable DVD drive. They used to be fairly large, kind of bulky, but now, as you can see, even with the case, it uh, is fairly uh, compact and we'll go ahead and take it out of the case and we'll show you we'll talk about more of the, about the case here in just a moment but this is how compact they've gotten it it's just you know very very thin very light you really don't have to worry about it a whole lot now it is all plastic it's well there's some parts that aren't but and we'll switch over to uh, trusty demo cam here as you can see, it's got a button to eject the tray from. Your USB cable goes in the back. Now, if you're not used to working with portable DVD drives, remember that little hole. That little hole can be your friend. You might always want to keep a paper clip handy because if you unplug the drive from the computer you're working with it on, and forget to eject the disc or the disc sometimes won't eject then this will be the way you can get it open without having to power it back up and, and get it hooked to another computer when you get the drive and I got this off of Amazon it's grand total of twenty five dollars there are several different colors I just went for your basic black but that end goes into the USB drive that goes into the back now I'm saying this is a DVD drive but as you can see by the writing on it we'll get the lights up there a little bit you see it's a writer now it doesn't do blu-ray but is that a big deal i mean i don't i'm not finding that much available media for blu-rays and what are out there are kind of expensive you can still do quite a bit on a single-sided dvd now it, you know it is a good size so it's you know it's thin it's compact so it's not going to take a lot of room, but even though it can be replaced, I don't like spending another $25 when I don't have to. So that's where the case comes in. And I'll actually switch back to the other camera at this point because you can see it better on this one because of its size. Now, this is a case from Ladco, and this is the part where you saw the DV drive in here earlier, and it has a padded piece look over top of it to protect it but also on that you've got two different pockets for holding either CDs DVDs that have already been burned and in this case when that the uh, I purchased the drive it came with some additional software so I just keep that in here and I'm going to eventually put some DVD RWs in because as we all know CDRs and then the there are some uh, DVD R's and there's R minus and R plus I typically don't worry about which one I get because they pretty much are going to work the, the same to an extent, except when you get to the RWs and those are erasable. But I'll keep some RWs in here because that way if I need to reuse one when I'm out in the field, I don't have to worry about running down to the nearest office supply store and paying whatever price they want. I'll always have a couple in here and that's not a bad thing to have. There are times when you may not want to do that, but with this, you know, it keeps the DVD drive somewhat cushioned. You've got room for media in here, so you're not taking up more space in what you've already got. It's not what I would call a hard case, but it is, it's better than some of those neoprene sleeves that I was seeing because I really wanted to get something to protect this. Yeah, it does take a little bit of room in the backpack, but that's room that I think is, is very well spent. It's well worth the money. The one that, that I've got here is from LG old name in the industry uh, a bit of trivia for those of you who don't recognize lg you may know it by another name about 30 years ago lucky gold star they were initially came in at the low end of the market they've since rebranded themselves rather successfully now it's lg and they say it's for life's good but i i think if you do a little bit you'll find the history that i have i've never been disappointed with anything lg so if something happens to this it's not going to break the bank, but at least you've got a good drive to start with. Some desktops are now where they dropped floppies several years ago are now starting to not have DVDs. It's primarily the notebooks. 
But this way, if there's any question, I have run across a DVD drive in a tower that was suspect. This way, I've got one that I know is good, that it works with the discs that I've burned. So that's one thing to, uh, to keep in mind. Very affordable. This is $25 when I got it on Amazon. The case that uh, you see here is about another $13. So between the two, you're not talking an outrageous sum. And especially if it's coming up on somebody's birthday uh, or be Mother's Day or Father's Day for that important person, this is not a bad thing to think about getting for them because it will be used because you could never have enough drives available because especially if you're trying to make a copy of one disk that you burned, don't have the original source files available, by having two drives, you can copy from one and write to the other. So. It's worth considering, and it's a, it's a very good tool to have available, because especially when you're in those situations when the drive is that's in the system that you're trying to work with is questionable, or you've got to have other media in there for something else. This way you can slide another drive right in, and it's not a big deal. Once I get the, uh, the show notes up and running, then there will be links to Amazon. These are affiliate links, so if you do decide to get it, you know, I will get a small commission off of that. Do appreciate any purchases that you make. And this video is primarily for the Pocket Troubleshooter book that I'm working on right now. And we'll have out probably late fall, early winter, because I've got quite a few things that I'm working on for it. But, you know, meanwhile, I'm getting videos out now so you can kind of see what uh, what things are looking like and don't have to just to depend on the uh, the picture that's on Amazon. So... Take, thank you for taking a look at this, and uh, this is definitely one tool you want to have in your bag of tricks.